Well, from Adira Bay, Manlia, huh? Uh, no, we're not under attack, by the way. Uh, to lovely Renella Bay, which is in Kalkara. It's a beautiful marina just around the corner. We often come here for a barbecue or we get something from this extremely popular food van right behind me. Now, my cousin knows, he knows, mate, he knows which, where you eat and where you don't eat. We've eaten here before. And we were sitting here in perfect serenity and tranquility until one, two, three, four, I can count the, uh, yeah, about 10 have gone off so far, mortars. Uh, why they're going off? Let me just say, oh yeah, it'll be probably from Bidigal or Vittorioza for the Feast of uh, St. Lawrence, which is coming up. Um, and because they can, yeah? So if you were lying here on the beach having a lovely, serene evening, maybe having a nap, well, that's all changed now, but that's okay. That's Malta. That's tradition. Guys, Renella Bay, yeah? Have a look at it. Renella Bay. Um, popular. I've never been here to see it so busy. Very popular amongst locals. People are coming out of the water now. A lot of people are packing up and going, but we just got here. We often have a barbecue here. Maybe we'll get some fish and have it here or some steak, whatever. It's a lovely uh, beach across, just across the harbour here. They are the fortifications of Valletta. Magnificent. And, uh, you know, I started filming at a good time because the bombs are going off. I can't remember what that building is. Um, there are fortifications all around here. So we sort of just, um, we're, we're at the edge of the three cities here, yeah? A few boats anchored in here. It's a lovely little uh, safe anchorage here. Not that it's uh, stormy or rough seas by any means. Sorry about the mortars, guys, but it's just part of the atmosphere. There's people having a good time. It's a small beach. Uh, it's a bit dirty, to be honest. Um, I don't... I, I, even today at Adira, it was a bit disappointing. We got there pretty early. To see people leaving cigarette butts in the sand and all that. I know they come and clean, but that's really hard to get out of, of sand, you know. Um, but it's okay. The sea looks very nice. A lot of locals here having a wonderful time. You won't see many tourists at these places. It's off the beaten path. Not well known. It is now, but uh, but I've done videos here before, so I don't think anyone's going to uh, lynch me or anything. Now, just quickly, um, because you wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it, and I've shown you guys this before. Um, let me show you. There is a, a restaurant here called Frankie's, and I'll just go up the stairs here. And I remember the first time I came here, I was amazed, and I'm still amazed. It's not open today, but Frankie's sits in the middle of a big steel, maybe disused, tower. They've actually built the cafe, and it's been here forever, ever since I've been coming here. They've built that restaurant, Frankie's it's called, they've built it inside the tower. And there are a few of these towers scattered around, I'm not sure what their purpose is. Some of them have got mobile phone, uh, satellite dishes on them. Um... So there you go, that's uh, only in Malta moment, Frankie's sitting there inside a tower. Uh, we've got people lighting some picnic grills here, little barbecues and um, just a beautiful night. Now it took us about four minutes to get here, five minutes to get here from our place. Uh, so good, Google Maps just zigzags me around little side streets that I don't frequent often. And before you know it, bang, we're there. And my cousin's wife was here swimming. And she got out. She goes, God, you're lucky. <laughs> I get the first car park here behind the food van, yeah? As soon as I get here, somebody pulled out. So, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm often lucky with car parking. Mind you, I can see one just up here. Look, and there's one up there. So, there's parking. People talk a lot about parking, but I never have a problem with parking. Well, it looks like the mortars have stopped, so that must have been probably on the hour, maybe on 8 o'clock, or I don't know what it is, what time it is at the moment. But, um, Renala Bay. Renala Bay, Kalkara. Um, uh, well, look at the sign, it says no barbecues allowed. Well, there's plenty of barbecues happening on the beach, I can tell you. There's one right here. Um, it says no dogs. Um... No dogs except guide dogs. Well, I can tell you about five dogs have walked past me in the short time I've been here. It also says no nude swimming and sunbathing. Um, not, to not necessarily nude, and I don't like 
bringing these on camera, but I've seen quite a few pretty impressive G-bangers here today. Excuse the, excuse the term, but anyway, uh, tonight. So, uh, technically not nude, but um, I'm sure anyone who's been to Malta here knows what I'm talking about. So, there's actually a dog there in the water being held by an owner. So, um, there you go. So, I don't think this sign at least is being overly enforced, except maybe the nudity. All right, guys, I'm going to... Uh, I'm not swimming here tonight. I've been swimming all day at beautiful Adira. It was lovely. I really enjoyed it. Um, we love coming to these little uh, off the beaten path treasures in the south. Um, tell you what, we've had a, you know, it was over an hour drive there this morning and an hour drive back. And even the other day, Paradise Bay was about 55 minutes. Uh, this, this morning we copped it particularly bad. There was a couple of accidents, a few ambulances running around. I don't know what happened. I hope everyone was okay. I'm going to let you go now from beautiful uh, Renella Bay, Calcara, and uh, I'm going to go and order some, uh, order a couple of salads, I think, from me and Brent from this Chef, Chef Express Meals van. Come hungry, go happy is their slogan there on the van. Come hungry, go happy. I like that. And uh, it's all good. See you guys.